Hi guys, so this video is going to be a Snapchat Q&A which I'm so excited about. I've been wanting to do one of these videos for so long and you guys have been requesting it as well. Um, by the way, the reason my hair is like this is because it needs a wash and it's really greasy. Um, but also I saw Kylie, Kylie? I saw Carly Bible's video, oh my god is that how you say her name? But anyway yeah, I saw her video last night of like how to do Dutch braids on yourself and I was like no way, that looks impossible. So I practiced it this morning and um, this is my first ever attempt so I apologise that it's so uneven but I was actually so proud of myself, I managed to kind of, kind of do it. So I asked you guys on Snapchat to send me some questions. So, Sophie Shale, what's your favourite foundation? Um, my favourite foundation at the moment, this is her message, it's another picture, it's literally just got the text. Um, my favourite foundation at the moment is my Rimmel Match Perfection foundation and it's the one that I have on my face right now. Um, and I've been wearing this basically every day for the past kind of, I don't know, since I got it. I mentioned it in a haul and the reason that I like this foundation so much is because it doesn't have like too high coverage to the point where it looks cakey, but it does have pretty good coverage. So. Um, it's pretty good for like everyday wear and also they have a, they've added like a new colour that's like light and it matches my skin tone like pretty nicely. I mean, I think it matches my neck. She also said, favourite high end brand, by the way I'm the person who made the edit for you or for Zoella. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, I literally love the edit. I love it when you guys make me add it. <laughs> add it? I love it when you guys make me edits, it literally like makes me so happy and I always show my mum like oh my god look mum somebody made me another one. Um, so yeah if you guys like make me edits and stuff I will most likely get really excited and probably like repost it on Instagram or Twitter or something. But she, yeah she said, favourite high end brand, uh, my favourite high end brand has got to be MAC. Oh wait, does the balm count as high end? Balm is kind of like mid range prices, I mean it is expensive. It is pretty expensive, I would say the balm is, is kind of high end. Um, but yeah, I would say MAC because I love their lipsticks. I have a lot of balm products, like I have a couple of the balm eyeshadow palettes that have like some highlighters and stuff, and I think their products are such good quality. So if you haven't tried anything by the balm, one, go to TK Maxx because they have like reduced stuff, and two, you have to try it because it's amazing. The next one is from Moonlight Sarah 101 Do you like Demi Lovato? If you will ever do a makeup tutorial on her, I would love to see one. Whoa, okay, I had to read that really quickly because it was only like five seconds long or something. So that was from Moonlight Sarah 101 So she said, do you like Demi Lovato? Yes, I do love Demi Lovato. I think she is amazing. I've been a fan of her since I used to watch, oh my god, what was that show called that she was on? Sunny with a Chance. Sunny with a Chance? Yeah. I used to love Sunny with a Chance, so I kind of grew up watching Demi Lovato and Selena Gomez and stuff on Disney Channel. So yes, I do really like Demi Lovato. I also think she's an amazing singer. I love what she like stands for, about like body image and stuff, and I just think that she's pretty amazing. So yeah, I think I probably will do a Demi Lovato tutorial at some point. I think that is a really good idea, so yeah, I'll add that to my list of videos to film. The next one is from Yasmin Reed, and she also said, what's your favourite foundation? So, yeah, like I said before, at the moment, it's New Rimmel Match Perfection. So Jazz has sent a video. Okay, I think she's just dancing. Do you like Miley? Any tips on starting a YouTube channel? Yes, I do like Miley. I love Miley. And, oh, there's about to be another message. I love your videos. Oh, thank you so much. And yes, I do love Miley. I mean, I know some people don't like her because they think she's gone like off the rails or whatever, but I've always been a big fan of Miley. My teenage years were spent watching Hannah Montana, and I think since then I've never stopped loving her. Even though she cut all her hair off, I still think she's an amazing person. Again, I love what she stands for. Like, she does so much like for charity and like standing up for loads of different types of people. And yeah, I just think Miley is amazing. So yes. And tips for starting a YouTube channel. Oh my gosh. Um, I would say if you want to start a YouTube channel. The first thing I would recommend is having decent quality, like it doesn't have to be like, you don't have to go and straight away buy a DSLR, like because that's just ridiculous, but you can get like pretty decent quality cameras for around like £100 and even if you don't want to spend that much, get one on eBay, like second hand or something, get a decent quality camera. Also the second tip I have is to have decent lighting and the third tip I have is to have decent audio because like if your voice is all kind of like crackly and you can't really hear what you're saying then people aren't going to want to subscribe to your videos. Um, and also another thing obviously, try and post like as frequently as you can. I know it can be quite difficult to post kind of regularly but I would say like minimum of one video a week because otherwise people aren't just going to like want to keep up with you because you're so like inconsistent with videos. So yeah, those are my tips on starting a YouTube channel. Ines underscore Martins 98 
says, I'm sorry this isn't a video, but I didn't like to show my face, that's fine. My question is, would you like to have a makeup brand of your own, or you think it is too much work and just prefer collabs, love you? Oh, that's a good question. Um, yes, I would, oh my god, literally would love to have a makeup brand of my own. If I learn about like how to start a business and stuff, I mean, I guess I would have to go somewhere to learn about that. But literally, it's always been my dream to have my own makeup brand. I doubt it will ever happen because that's obviously quite a big thing to start. But I would absolutely love to have my own makeup brand. And thank you, Ines, for your question. I love you too. And I see that you message me quite a lot. So I really, really appreciate your support. Jazz underscore though says hi. <laughs> hi, Jazz. Chloe Moore says, if you could only use one makeup product of each category, what would you have? E.g. one foundation product, one mascara, thanks. If I could have one foundation, I'd have my Rimmel True Match. Is that even what it's called? No, Match Perfection. And then I would have my collection, Lasting Perfection Concealer, in the shade Fair, because I literally use that every day. I've used it every day since I was like 12. For powder, I would choose my NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. For eyeliner, I would choose the Miss Sporty Meow Look eyeliner that I mentioned in a recent haul because that is literally the best eyeliner I've ever used. Mascara, I would say the L'Oreal Double Extension Mascara. That is like pretty much my all-time favourite mascara, I think. If I had to choose one lipstick, oh my gosh, I'd probably choose MAC Twig because I feel like that would just go with anything. The next question is from... Whoa, she sent me a lot of questions. Can you guys, can you guys see how many questions she sent? What would you say is your favourite drug, drugstore or makeup brand? Uh, mm, uh, mm. That's a tricky question. I don't know, I've really been liking sleep recently, but then I also like Rimmel for like face product. What is your Holy Grail makeup product and brand? Holy Grail makeup, makeup product is my NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. My favourite brand is The Balm. If you could only have one, mo one makeup product for the rest of your life, what one product would you pick? I would have to choose mascara because I can't live without mascara. Without mascara, my eyelashes are literally just dead. How old were you when you first started wearing makeup? I think I was actually like 11 or 12 which is quite bad, I think I was 11. But it was only like very, very, very minimal makeup because I had such oily skin, I bought like a, a face powder. So I used to wear like face powder. And then when I was like 12, I started wearing mascara, like just a tiny little bit of mascara. What was the first makeup product you ever bought? I think it was like a Miss Sporty face powder. Um, sorry, I have lots of questions. What is your favourite film, The Nightmare Before Christmas? What's your current favourite song? Oh my gosh, Zayn Malik's new song. Can we just talk about it? It's genuinely really good. I'm not even a directioner, but I, I literally I love Zayn Malik's new song. Also, I love We Don't Talk Anymore by Charlie Puth and Selena Gomez. Those are my two favourites. If you're going to read out names of who sent the question, can I be anonymous, please? Whoops. L Lutfia Mortard. One. Can you read it? I'm sorry if I just completely butchered your name. She says, how old were you when you had your first kiss? Love your videos, by the way. Oh my gosh, how old was I? I think I was 14? Yes, I was 14. It was with a guy that I'd been going out with for like three weeks, and then we broke up after that, so yeah. That was great. Emma says, how old are you and what do you do for a living? I am 18, I'm very nearly 19. It's my birthday in like two weeks, which is so exciting. Um, and what do I do for a living? I'm currently a student. Um, I'm studying art, so yeah. Arlinda, can you please upload the DIY highlighter video? Yes, I can. The DIY highlighter is actually on my face right now. That is the highlighter I'm wearing, in case you're wondering. And who is your favorite YouTuber? My favorite YouTuber is... Oh, I don't know, it's such a difficult question. I would say Emily Cannon in terms of like vlogs. In terms of beauty videos, I am like obsessed with Kathleen Lights and like Jaclyn Hill. They're just incredible and like Manny and everyone. Um, also, I love Hannah Renee as well, she's amazing. Kate Mackey 2K3 said, What are your top concealers? Love you. I love you too, Kate. My number one concealer of all time is my collection. Lasting Perfection Concealer. Also, I used to like the Maybelline like 24 hour concealer, but then it started to break me out, so I stopped using that. And then also, I do like the L'Oreal Too Much Concealer as well, but it's not as good coverage as the collection one. Karis Davies XXX. OMG, thanks for confirming my request. Your videos are flawless, you're gorgeous, and I love you. Please do more videos and do meetups. Aww. 
Bring your merch out, please. Love you and keep your good work up. That is so cute. You guys are so sweet. You literally like make me so happy. Thank you so much. Look, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Rachel Farrow says, how do you get rid of spots when you have them? Thank you, Rachel, for your question. Um, when I have spots, I use my Origins like super spot remover thing. It's quite expensive, but it's really, really, really good stuff. You just apply that to your spot and it does reduce it quite a lot. Also, Sudocrem is pretty good for spots in like reducing the redness. So if you have a spot and you put a bit of Sudocrem on it and leave it overnight, it should have gone down a bit by the morning. Also, I used to use Quinoderm, um, which is like quite a high strength like spot cream. I think you can get it from most like chemists. Wend says, if you could, if you would ever have kids, what would you call them? And oh my gosh, somebody has asked me this before and I just can't think of what I would call my child like I know it's really bad but I just can't think of any names at the moment I guess because like having kids isn't on my mind like anytime soon Megan says would you ever get a tattoo if so what that is a good question yes I would get a tattoo I've been wanting to get a tattoo for quite a few years now I'm planning to get one maybe sometime this year um, I was thinking of doing it for my 19th birthday but I feel like I'm not 100% decided on where I want to get it done on my body I know exactly what I want to get I want to get four little elephants in a chain like linking trunks and there'll be two big elephants and two small elephants and it will represent my family and I would just get it like really really tiny but I can't decide whether I should get it on the side of my like ankle like the side of my foot like on the inside or if I should get it on my ribs or like somewhere else Nikki says what's your favorite animal and my favorite animal is an elephant funnily enough yeah I didn't explain the elephant thing before um, why I would get an elephant tattoo it's because elephants are actually my favorite animal they have been since I was really small and my other favorite animal is a pug as you can probably tell. Hannah says, what do you do to cheer yourself up when you're sad? Love your videos. Somebody would probably answer this question like, yeah, go out and spend time with your friends. Whereas when I'm sad, I like to just kind of like sit in my room, I will go on my laptop, watch some like happy videos on YouTube that make me happy, watch my favorite YouTubers, or like I will start watching a like really like feel good film on Netflix. But also obviously when you're sad, another thing to do I guess is to spend time with your friends, but when I'm sad it's not like, the first thing that I think of to do because I'm quite like a private person. Paulina says, hey, how did you become famous <laughs> and what pushed you to become a YouTuber? <laughs> I'm not famous. Emily Cannon was making videos and I loved her videos and I was like, oh my god, she's the same age as me. Actually, I'm older than Emily Cannon. How funny is that? She's like living in an apartment in London with her boyfriend and she's like amazingly gorgeous and I'm actually older than her, so yep. Just watching other people's videos like pushed me to start YouTube because I thought that it was something I could do and I was like really passionate about like beauty and stuff so I thought that yeah, I thought it would be a good idea. Audrey says, what's the key to happiness? By the way, I love you. Thank you Audrey, I love you too. And if I knew the key to happiness, then I would be happy all the time, but I'm not, so. I'm really sorry, but I do not know what the key to happiness is. I really wish I did. And the final question is from Samaya or Samia. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry if I've butchered your name. Um, but she says, what essentials do you need for school? I'm not sure if you mean in terms of like stationery or like makeup. So in terms of makeup, what I used to bring to school is literally like a bit of concealer, a mascara in case I like, I don't know, it came off during the day. And also I would bring like a bit of powder with me and some lip balm. Also, I really recommend that you take a water bottle to school because obviously see like it's really important to keep hydrated and stuff and you can always fill it up during the day if you get thirsty another essential for school always make sure you have a pack of tissues because you never know when you might need them <laughs> so that is all of the questions that i got unfortunately i didn't have any video questions which is quite sad because i was hoping that like you guys would send me little videos and then i could like show your faces and stuff but i mean obviously that's completely fine if you guys don't want to show your face on camera so thank you all for sending in your questions i have really enjoyed doing this q a actually i think i will do another one at some point soon if you want to take part in the next one my snapchat is just at soph does nails not i mean not at it's just soph does nails um so yeah if you guys have enjoyed this video give this a big thumbs up let me know if you were in this video down below and if you saw your name or whatever or if i ran out your question and i will see you guys in my next video bye